hello friends uh, welcome back uh, today i am going to show you how to make a presentation for inauguration of any uh, not a building but any software and app you must have seen uh, this uh, type of inaugurations uh, that people are cutting the ribbon to inaugurate some kind of uh, building new building hotels and stuff like that but you know we are uh, living in a digital world today and many of the times we are developing some softwares and applications for our day to day life and uh, we cannot uh, inaugurate uh, that type of uh, application and softwares using this uh, ribbon cutting as there is no physical uh, room or building to for uh, inauguration so uh, this type of presentation comes in ha comes uh, in handy for such type of applications and believe it or not but i have personally used uh, this presentation in my company for many of the occasions and people have liked it very much hope uh, you will also like it so first uh, we will go through the animation then uh, we'll go through the process of how to do it so here uh, i have provided a button to inaugurate so you can just uh, plug in and uh, wireless mouse to your keyboard and whoever the uh, sir, chief guest of your uh, function you can just uh, tell him to inaugurate this uh, slide you can show it on a uh, projector or any bigger tv screen and just uh, tell him to click on this inaugurate button when he clicks on it a scissor will come cut the ribbon this power will come down and you can write uh, inauguration of whatever xyz system you are having by mr so and so so likewise uh, you can use this presentation if you have any new software or application developed in your company also so uh, we'll go through the process of how to do it so first of all what you will need you will require uh, this uh, curtain so you can just uh, download it from internet and uh, try to find a curtain which is having transparent background uh, unfortunately i didn't got that type of uh, curtain uh, but still uh, i had uh, managed it so just let me show you sorry see here uh, i had drawn one shape and send it to back and you are not able to see it because this image is not uh, not transparent this white color background is not transparent to make it transparent uh, i had already shown in one of my slide uh, sorry video but still i'll repeat it for the new audience you can just go to format recolor and go to set transparent current color and click on this white color background and your background will get clear so now my uh, whatever object behind the curtain i can see it so you can just a minute so you can if you want uh, you can just uh, change your uh, slide uh, background if you want to any color i will not change it right now i will keep it as white only then you will require a ribbon that also you can get it from a net so i'll copy it from here only so basically this is the image that i have got from the internet so we want to cut this ribbon so in order to uh, show that uh, ribbon which is cut you can just edit it in a you can just yes, i'll show you you can just copy it go to paint paste it here and use the eraser to erase this middle portion and save this image and use it in your powerpoint presentation so i will not make it because i already have it so i will not save it so this is the original image and this is the image that i have uh, edited in paint so we will keep this image in a background that is 
we will send it to back okay so just for animation purpose i will just move it here okay then we will require scissors so you can get these scissors from insert clip part and you can just search for scissor so i have used these two scissors one will be shown in the like in open position and when it will reach here i will show this scissor to have a effect of scissor getting uh, cut the ribbon so i will use these scissors only then to show some flower we'll copy this only this also you can get on the internet you can search for rose or flower which is not having any background then what is uh, balance is adding the animations so since i have copied it from here so the some of the animations uh, already got copied so i'll just explain it what are those so first animation is just a minute the first animation that uh, we need to do is this scissor moving towards here uh, before that we need to add one button for inauguration so you can draw a rectangle type in inaugurate then change the color font make it bold if you want you can give some 3d effects okay keep it over somewhere here now i'll just uh, delete all these animations so that you will not get confused so after clicking on this button we want this scissor to move here and then we want to Uh, uh display this scissor so what we will do we will select this scissor first go to add effect motion path select draw custom path select line then draw a line from here to somewhere here okay let's check okay then we want to show this scissor so what we will do we'll go to entrance appear and we will make it appear after previous also this uh, effect should happen after click of this button only so we will double click on this effect go to timing go to triggers and select start effect on clip of rectangle 12 which is our inauguration button so i had uh, already renamed this button uh, uh, if you don't rename this then you will see the all the shapes like picture 4 5 but you will not know uh, what is picture 5 picture 4 so it is a good practice to rename some uh, objects that you will require for triggering so i have uh, renamed this uh, button of inauguration using selection pen well click here okay so for those who don't know how to rename you can just go to home tab go to select selection pen and select any object like this button here rectangle you can say inaugurate okay so when you go here you see this as inaugurate 
if i change this to some other let's say button then you will see as button here see button and this is the text whatever i have written on the button okay now this effect i need to move it down okay so now when our scissor reaches here it cuts the ribbon then we want to show the ribbon which is cut so this is the ribbon which we need to show so we will select that image go to add effect entrance appear since i have not um, cleared this uh, background so there is uh, no need to make this background image disappear but if you have a uh, image which is uh, transparent then in that case you first need to make this background image disappear and this image appear so in this case i will not use disappear since my image is not transparent in the background okay then we want to show this flowers coming down so you can just select a flower go to add effect motion path go to custom path and select curve then click here click somewhere here to make it curved double click to end then just copy paste the flowers and adjust the motion paths you can increase the length of some of the motion path or change the curvature the way you want let's see how it looks we can just make it here only then all these effects should happen with previous this picture five is our uh, ribbon which is cut it should happen after previous so we'll select all these effects and move it downwards so that they are happening after click of this button now we will copy all these four flowers paste it for adding additional flowers okay select all the effects <coughs> sorry and move it move them downwards then we need to show some text you can just i am copying it from here only you can write whatever the name of your software or system that is being inaugurated here inauguration of xyz system by mr abc who is your chief guest for the function and you can just apply effect of add effect entrance and you can select this flip 
so it is already copied from here that's why this effect is already there so I'll just bring it down then you can also add some uh, sound uh, let's say when our ribbon is getting cut we can this is the moment where our ribbon is getting cut so we can just double click on this effect then uh, in sound you can just drop it down there are some um, basic uh, sounds which comes uh, inbuilt in microsoft powerpoint so you can select this applause and click on ok fine so then align this image um, this is not getting selected so you can go to select pen selection pen this is our picture 4 yeah so it is selected from here because so many of the images are overlapped on one another uh, it is very difficult to select each and every image so if you can uh, rename all the images you can easily select it from this selection pane in this case i have not renamed all the images but since i know what is picture for i could select it easily so after selection you can just click here and align it properly okay now i will close this animation pen selection pen okay so let's see if our animation works properly or not so here you don't see any uh, text here it is a blank slide uh, one thing you can do you can just uh, make this uh, caesar uh, invisible uh, while uh, showing the uh, introductory slide and later on after click of this button you can make it appear and then add the motion path so in this case I had not applied it but you can apply it in your own slide so here I will click on this inaugurate button then this scissor should come here cut the ribbon the flower should come down and the text should get displayed here so let's see The one thing that uh, I forgot to do this to make this scissor disappear after cutting the ribbon. So for that what we need to do go to animation custom animation then select this scissor go to add effect exit disappear then bring it down. then make it after previous let's see click on inaugurate okay. our first scissor got disappeared but this is still there so we can disappear this scissor also so you just click on this scissor again and apply the same exit disappear effect and bring it here make it after previous again click on the inaugurate so now our both scissors should get sorry we can add some delay or else what we can do we can move it over here and let's see will not work like this so we can simply add a delay here 
लेट से पॉइंट फाइव सेकेंड डिले you can add uh, variation to these uh, falling flowers you can change their uh, pa motion path and you can increase or decrease the timing to have some natural effect so that's it my friends uh, this is how you can use this simple animation for any uh, inauguration of ceremony in your office and yes impress your subordinates and your bosses also so thanks guys for uh, watching my videos if you like my videos do subscribe to my channel presentation skills and don't forget to leave a comment below if you have any suggestions for any future videos and also like my videos as much as possible you can uh, click on this uh, right side uh, circle for to subscribe my channel and here is the list of my uh, videos that is cool animations you can go through all the videos that i have uploaded till now so keep watching keep learning thanks